So this question comes from Josh. Um, I've been following your videos for a while now, and I want to start my own social network, but I'm not a programmer. I'm actually a mechanical engineering student writing my thesis, but I found opportunity in a particular niche that is fast growing in the world. In five to ten years, statistics show that the niche will be in hundreds of millions of people. I have been looking at different content management approach, like Ningo, but the maximum limit is about 10,000 users, and it has limited social network functionalities. Could you please give me a guide on how to proceed? Uh, so this this is an interesting question. So everybody nowadays wants to build their own social network. Yay, social networks. <laughs> Isn't that also 2009? It's amazing how long ago 2009. Can you can you believe like 2009 is now like 6 years ago? That's ridiculous. Um so I don't know. Social networking um basically seems a wee bit 2009. Um the problem that you're going to be running into is the whole question of do you build your own social networking platform or do you buy one off the shelf from somebody? So um, uh, like I used to use PHP Fox. I like PHP Fox as a social networking platform. It's, it's very customizable. You can th use things like Drupal. You can even th use something like WordPress uh, and basically build up for your social networking site. Uh, the question then go then, then, then you have to ask yourself is how big do you actually think this thing is going to be because the biggest, the largest, the worst, the most horrible problem you can ever run into in the real world of technology is migration. <laughs> Migration sucks. No matter how you cut it, migration from one platform to another platform is going to be one of the worst things that you ever deal with. I would rather have a server completely crash and die rather than go through a migration. Migrating from one platform, especially to a completely different platform, is just a horrendous pain. In the, I mean, it's beyond a pain in the ass. Uh, so realistically, what you really want to do is right now, if you really think you're going to be able to build out this social networking site, you want to to go with whatever option uh, that you think you will be able to continue to use uh, for, for quite a while, for a couple of years, um, so that you don't have to uh, migrate out of it. Um, now, that was a thing. So I started looking, and because um, I figured, honestly, I figured this would be kind of an easy answer. I figured i just get here, I'd say, use PHP Fox or something, and be done with it. Uh, the question then, though, is that you're talking about uh, like 10,000 users for the site. Really, the question that you that you really have to ask yourself for this, because the problem that you run into is it's not really the user number, right? So whenever somebody creates a user account for a site, there's not there's not a whole hell of a lot of load on the site for creating user accounts. Basically, all that is is this an entry in the database, you know, first name, last name, email address, password, some other crap. There's no load uh, for most uh, for for almost any off the shelf package that you're going to buy. Frankly, you could probably have about 20 million users and it wouldn't really care. And, and I'm not being sarcastic there. I'm not being like ha ha. I mean, it really doesn't matter whether you have 20,000 users or a few million users. Uh, all this, all it is, is it's entries in the database that doesn't matter uh, you may have to to upgrade to a more powerful server you know you go from you know a four core xeon processor to an eight core xeon processor but migrating from one server to another isn't any big deal you know it's, it's resource use but it's not it's it's yeah you know, it's not really significant the the significant thing that you're going to have to worry about is what are called con concurrent users or simultaneous connections so you can have 20 million user accounts but if you've only got 50 people on the site at any one time almost anything can handle it. Uh, almost any platform can deal with it. On the other hand, if you have a thousand users and all thousand are logged in continuously, uh, that's where you can start running into some issues. So one of the questions that you really have to ask yourself is how many simultaneous users do you really plan to have? At that point, now we're going to get to brass tacks and we're going to get to business, right? Everybody wants technological solutions and then a lot of times there's business solutions. So the problem that you're going to run into is whether you decide to build your own platform or whether you decide to go with an off-the-shelf thing is if you honestly think that you're going to get millions of users on this platform, basically from day one or day two or day five, you're going to have to start building this platform based off of millions of users. And it's going to cost a lot of money no matter how you cut it. So if you're going to have this thing programmed, if you're going to actually have this thing coded, um, somebody's actually going to write it, you're probably looking at 
a uh, social networking site that has real functionality for the modern world. Uh, Budget-wise, probably two hundred thousand dollars, right? Uh, if somebody's going to basically hand code this thing, you, you're probably going to a couple of developers. Let's say two, two or three developers. Um, it, a lot, a lot of their their life for about a year, especially if they get subcontracted acted out from like Argentina or Uzbekistan or whatever. Probably about two hundred thousand dollars. You're probably looking at about two hundred, uh, maybe a hundred. Low, low ball, a hundred. Probably two hundred, maybe three hundred uh, thousand to get this thing actually up and running. Uh, and then you have to pay for the infrastructure. You actually have to pay for the servers, and you have to get play for the deployment that way. So realistically, if you wanted to build this thing from the ground up, again. $200,000 would probably be a reasonable estimate. Um, and, and now you're probably listening to that. You're like, Eli, I, have to, not, I don't have $200,000. Uh, uh, never mind, I'll just buy something that's off the shelf. But the thing is, is if you buy something off the shelf, you also have to make sure that you have the infrastructure to deal with it. So even if you go with something like PHP Fox, PHP Fox itself um, is only 300 bucks, 400 bucks uh, to buy the software. Again, that's why I like off the shelf. I, 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 I'm not joking to you guys, with you guys. If you want something like PHP Fox hand coded, it's going to cost you about a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, or you can simply buy PHP Fox off the shelf for 300. <laughs> but even if you do that, you still have to to uh, to buy the server. You also have to figure out things like clustering and how all that stuff's got to work. Um, so even on the low end, if you're really going to be building a social networking site that you think is going to have a decent load on it anytime soon, you're still probably looking at about twenty five to fifty thousand dollars of initial investment, um, especially if you don't know what's going on, right? Because um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on with social networking site, even but even. Even beyond things like programming, uh, you have to worry about like spam control, and you have to worry about viruses, and you have to worry about security, and you have to worry about this, and you have to worry about that, you have to worry about the other thing. Um, and that's the thing, like, like you don't think about it, but if you're going to be creating a social networking site that's actually uh, keeping real information for people, uh, you need to do things like security audits. Uh, I know in our area, security audits run you about five to $10,000. Right, so I mean that that that's gonna cost you money to actually have white hat hackers beat the hell out of your site, like truly beat the hell out of your site to find out where the vulnerabilities are. That's gonna cost you money. Um, so as I say a lot of times, it really comes down to money, 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 money. Um, so yeah, if you want the thing, if you want something that will be able to grow and scale as much as possible. Uh, you want to build your own social networking site. You want to you want to find something that can truly build it for you, build it well. Uh, if you want something that's going to be less expensive, then you get something off the shelf. Again, there's a lot of the Zoic, DZ, OIC is out there, PHP Fox. You could use Drupal. You could even use WordPress to do it. There's a lot of options. Um, really what you have to figure out is what are your resources, how much you want to put in this, so on and so forth. The one thing that I'll warn you is please... Please never again in your entire life say, I quote, in five to ten years, statistics show that this niche will be in hundreds of millions of persons, right? That, oh my God, that is so effing 2008. And you know why it's so fucking 2008? Is because so fucking many people said horse crap like that, that when it, it's like people are allergic to it now. Whenever you hear anything so stupid anymore... Believe me, anybody of any significance just wants to, to, to walk away because it's just a really incredibly stupid statement. It's just, it's one of those statements that makes you feel good. You're like, in five to ten years, this will be a massive knee. Yeah, 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 just shut. No, no, don't, don't. Too many people have said that stuff before and we've all, we, 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 we've seen where it has gone. So just, um, yeah, um. I'd pass on it. I mean, if I were you, I'd pass on it. If, 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 I mean, you're a mechanical engineering student. Again, if you really want to go into it, you know, <laughs> go for a startup. I mean, it really is. I mean, that is something you need money. You need, you, you need money to exploit that kind of thing. And especially in the modern world, it is just so questionable anymore. I mean, how many social networking sites do we need? How many social networking sites pop up and die? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd stay away from it if I were you. But um, but as far as everything else goes, again, I guess the big takeaway from this is there are user accounts and then simultaneous or active users. What you really need to measure resource consumption based off of is what are, what what's the simultaneous uh, uh, sessions 
uh, basically the database sessions. Uh, what is that going to be? That that is what is going to kill your site, not user accounts. Again, you have 20 million user accounts. In the whole scheme of things, it really doesn't matter too much.